to uh, talk about the wildlife piece or, or the naturalization piece, you know, in, in, in among these conversations about transit, you know. Um, with all this other stuff that's going on, this is still is a, a corridor, and uh, you know, immediately adjacent to these areas, there are a number of very significant uh, wildlife or natural spaces. Um, I do oversee the uh, biological management of Tommy Thompson Park, uh, which, for those that don't know, um, is officially uh, um, an ESA, an environmentally significant area. Um, it was also designated an IBA, an important bird area, and that's a global designation. Um, uh, uh, bird Life International, which is a, a global organization, has designated this spot. It's one of 55 in, in uh, Canada. Um, and it is recognized globally for its contribution to bird life. Um, one of the major reasons are the colonial water bird populations, the, uh, the ring-billed gulls, the, the double-crested cormorants, the black-crowned night herons, um, and you know all that under the shadow of the CN Tower. It's a pretty significant thing, um, and we've actually done a lot of uh, search around to, to try to find um, something as sig biologically significant so close to an urban urban center. And there, there's not much, um, you know, often compared to Stanley Park on the on the west coast. Um, but it, it, it's a very unique uh, unique place.